astronomers have studied the Milky Way's mysterious Fermi bubbles in visible light for the first time. The Fermi bubbles are two enormous outflows of high-energy gas reaching far out into space some 23,000 light-years above and below the plane of the Milky Way galaxy. Looking side-on with our Milky Way galaxy in the middle, the Fermi bubbles form an hourglass shape broiling in gamma and X-rays stretching out from the galactic centre. They were first detected by NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope back in 2010 and are thought to be the remains of the last big meal consumed by Sagittarius A-star, a supermassive black hole at the centre of our galaxy. Located some 27,000 light-years away, Sagittarius A-star contains some 4.3 million times the mass of the Sun. Astronomers have now used the Wisconsin Hydrogen Alpha Mapper, or WAM, telescope to measure the emissions of light coming from hydrogen and nitrogen in the Fermi bubbles at the same position as recent ultraviolet absorption measurements made by the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble data, reported in 2017, suggests that each of the Fermi bubble's two lobes contains enough cool gas to generate some two million sun-sized stars. Those scientists reached their conclusions by observing ultraviolet light from 47 background quasars using Hubble's Cosmic Origins and Space Telescope imaging spectrographs in order to map out the motions of the cool gas within the northern bubble, pinning down its age to between 6 and 9 million years. Quasars are supermassive black holes feeding in the early universe. They're generated by material being ripped apart at the subatomic level in the accretion disk surrounding a black hole, and then releasing that energy and matter prior to passing beyond the event horizon, the point of no return, after which material falls forever into the singularity. That energy and matter which is flung out before reaching the event horizon is focused into two superluminal jets, beaming out in opposite directions perpendicular to the accretion disk, and often extending for hundreds of thousands of light years. The Fermi bubbles are thought to be related to similar events that occurred in our Milky Way's own supermassive black hole. The lead author for this new study, Dinesh Krishnario from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, says that these faint but highly energetic outflows of gas are racing away from the centre of the Milky Way at millions of kilometres an hour. Krishnario and colleagues combine the two measurements of emission and absorption lines to estimate the density, pressure and temperature of the ionised gas in order to test various models of the Fermi bubbles against observations to better understand what's really happening. WAM will also allow the authors to undertake density, pressure and velocity measurements at multiple locations, allowing them to develop detailed maps of the bubbles above and below the plane of the galaxy to see if existing models are holding up. The thing is, the central region of the Milky Way is really difficult to study because of the veil of gas and dust blocking our view. Previously, only infrared and radio waves were able to peer through this curtain. But now, the WAM telescope is providing opportunities to gather the kinds of information on the Milky Way, which up until now, astronomers have only been able to get on other more distant galaxies, thereby allowing astronomers to better compare our Milky Way with those other galaxies. This is Space Time. Still to come, NASA's new Lunar Gateway space station. And work begins on the Artemis III service module, which will eventually take humans back to the lunar surface after a break of more than 50 years. All that and more still to come on Space Time. <laughs> <laughs> 